the panel for being here. I'd like to come back to information that I think I understood. So once we know there's been a disinformation campaign and the source has been source has been identified and on top of that that it's artificially amplified, then that's the threshold that must be reached to uh, warn the population. Is that correct? Um, it's if I understood to, to make sure that I understood the question, indeed we are tracking those trends on a regular basis. Those trends uh, and any information that we have as individual members are briefed to the panel. The panel will make a decision whether that reaches a threshold that requires a public announcement. Very well. And in that case, if we don't have absolute certainty that there was an, art an artificially magnified campaign or that we have certain doubts as to the source of the information, in that case, is there a risk that we cannot make a recommendation that it's time to publish, to to publicly state that there there may be a campaign underway? Did you? Thank you. Um, so I think maybe if I can provide a bit of context into what we're, we've we've heard in this panel has heard a lot about how difficult it is in a disinformation landscape. Um, so what I would say is, you know, we when we look for artificial amplification, we want to understand that landscape. We're continually learning about it. But if we're not able to ascertain that there is a foreign aspect that is behind that, that is, that is uh, pushing that amplification, then from, again, from our perspective, that is not something that we would be focused on. Uh, we want to be very careful that there's also the ability for Canadians to actually be ex fully expressing their uh, opinions, and so we don't look at the national dialogue. We're looking for foreign interference. So when we can't see that, uh, we, don't, we don't focus on that. In that case, is there not a risk that with increasingly specialized technology, we never really be able to ensure that there is either a source of disinformation that is external or that it's being art artificially amplified. We keep going around the protocol and uh, we're never certain enough, it seems, to actually warn the population. So is it really a waste of time to put this such a protocol in place? We judge um, the decision making of the panel members. Uh, from our perspective, uh, you'll hear that we are, are mandated to focus our, our attention on, on uh, foreign interference and foreign influence activities. We don't monitor um, uh, any of us, the uh, uh, internal dialogue of Canadians uh, who have the right to express themselves. Um, Having said that, and, and as Tara had indicated, that we would we would brief the panel, and the the panel could, and and this might be something to ask the panel, um, if they determined that there was uh, sufficient impact, because the the again the the threshold for the for the panel is, does this information threaten Canada's ability to hold a free and fair election? Mm -hmm. uh, I, su I suppose if, uh, uh, if they felt that that threshold was met, even in the absence of a foreign interference, they, they could choose to do that. Um, I think we are not in a position to, to talk through what their considerations might have been in a particular circumstance, but I hope that answers your question. I'd like to hear your thoughts on the feedback between you and the panel. Was the panel updating you? as to the measures they were thinking of taking to counter this disinformation to ensure that uh, the elections were, that elections were was more transparent uh, were you being uh, informed of this the nature of the the discussions with the panel were uh, that our role at least as site members was to provide them with the information um, certainly uh, they would have had follow up questions uh, asking us for updates uh, on, on any information that we would have provided and seeking additional information. Um, but the, the, dis, the deliberations of the panel in terms of, of, of uh, any decision making would have been their own and, and we were not involved in those discussions. Okay. So if I'm t do I understand that the panel may have uh, received suggestions about how to ensure that ele the election was transparent and fair? But they didn't ask you any questions about whether those measures would be effective. You didn't get that kind of feedback uh, back and forth with the panel, did you? 
the panel is is the, is the panel is formulated in the protocol. There are also a committee of, of senior uh, officials and deputy ministers, uh, and and part of their responsibility would also be to discuss response options if there was any. Um, information that was presented to them that they felt required a response that was not a public announcement but was some other form of, of response, they, they absolutely uh, had the uh, ability to provide that, that advice or question or, or suggestion or, or initiate that discussion at least. Okay. Uh, with curiosity, with a bit, little bit of time I have left, could you tell me how panel members were chosen? Um, that would unfortunately not be uh, a question that, that I would be able to answer. Uh, the, the panel was established further to the protocol, which was um, uh, uh, something that was undertaken by PCOs that would probably be best directed towards them. Merci. Thank you. Je crois, Madame, la Présidente, que... Madame Chair, I believe that uh, my time is up. Très bien, merci, Very well, thank you.